going on everybody welcome back to another episode check this out one of our viewers actually sent us a package uh, so today we're gonna be doing a quick little unboxing I kind of know what it is so I'm gonna be opening it on camera hopefully she doesn't mind that I'm doing that also today we're gonna be setting up uh, my beta tank alright guys so to be honest with you guys I kind of been lost with this tank a little bit because I don't know exactly what direction to take it and one of the reasons that I'm being held back is because I know this light will probably not grow any plants so I opted to go out to go with some uh, low light plants I've already tied this up to a manzanita driftwood I've already soaked this but it's kind of hot right now <laughs> so it's starting to wilt so I got to get this into the water as soon as possible uh, but this is some um, Anubias that I've already tied to some manzanita driftwood I'm going to be using that and also I bought two small bags of aquarium sand um, all right guys, so I already rinsed out about a bag and a half of the sand and it came out pretty clean. So we're now we're gonna add it to the tank and see how we do. And my daughter's gonna help me. We're just gonna do that. It's like being at the beach, huh? Uh -huh. All right guys, so we're back indoors and if you're new to my channel, uh, this is the beta that we're going to be moving into this tank because that tank is going to become a shrimp tank. Uh, so we're going to be setting this up right now. I already have the driftwood over here, so we're going to kind of put the driftwood in here. Okay guys, so I got the driftwood in there. I kind of planted into the sand a little bit. I've also got these rocks right here. I'm not sure if I'll leave them in here. Um, there I'm just gonna kind of use them temporarily right now to kind of anchor the driftwood uh, down so I kind of have this one anchoring um, a couple points and then why not I just I stuck some in here uh, just to kind of give the tank a little bit of a contrast with the white sand uh, now I'm gonna be adding the aquarium heater back here so let's see if it fits I'm gonna be using the Aquion uh, 50 watt heater Alright guys, so the space back there is really, really cramped, so it did not fit with the little suction cup, uh, so I'm just going to remove it. Uh, this heater is fully submersible, so you're not going to have any problems. Just go ahead and shove it back there as far as you can, and it should just sit right down there, so that should be fine for right now. Okay guys, so we got water into the tank. This is conditioned water. I just kind of want to see how it looks before I move forward with moving the beta. A thin layer of sand kind of floated to the top uh, but I'm hoping that once the pump starts running that'll kind of just settle down so let's go ahead and turn the pump on and see how it does I already have the heater running and there you go I think that the flow is not too bad um, worst case scenario maybe I'll stick a sponge over here to kind of slow it down because betas really don't like a lot of flow uh, in, in that tank he all he has is a sponge filter so I really don't want to add too much flow to the tank but there you go that a lot of the sand is starting to trickle down uh, now we're gonna go outside right mama mm -hmm. we're gonna go outside and do the unboxing and see what we got in the mail so we're gonna let this run for a couple hours and then we'll come back into moving the fish so give us one second all right guys, so we're gonna be doing the quick unboxing right now. And first of all, I wanna thank Veronica for taking the time out of her day to send this to us. Uh, she reached out to me a while ago and said she wanted to send me some st something. Um, I offered to pay for it and she wasn't having it. I also offered to pay for shipping and she wasn't having it. Uh, so I really, really do thank you Veronica for taking the time to send this to us. It really does mean a lot to me. Uh, for you to do this for us. So without further ado, let's see what let's see what is what's inside. My daughter's already kind of tearing it up. Now pull it. Excited? Uh -huh. <laughs> I didn't know. Hold on, so we're so we got a letter over here. I don't want to show it on camera, uh, so I'm gonna move this out of the way. Uh -huh. 
All right, guys, so I don't want to show the picture, but look at that. Look at that's their German Shepherd. They got a German Shepherd and another little uh, little doggy back here. So how cool is that? Um, my last dog was a German Shepherd, and I just truly love German Shepherds. So I'm so happy you sent me a picture of your dogs. There's two dogs. There's this one and this one back here. So thank you so much. Uh, take a look at that. She sent us some almond leaves. She knew that she knew that I was going to be setting up the um, the shrimp tank, and she offered me to give me some almond leaves. So I really, really am thankful for this. She also sent us, I think, some shrimp food. How cool is that? What else did she send? Juice box. A juice box. <laughs> juice box. No, no juice box. So she sent some. Um, I think this is some more shrimp food. And some little caves, I think. So take a look at that. What else is there? So I think we got some caves, some shrimp food, and I think this is more shrimp food. Um, I'm gonna have to ask her because there's no name on this one. And she sent some almond leaves. What else did she send? What's in that one? <gasps> A bracelet. You got a bracelet. What else is in here? Um, <sighs> Take a look at that. She sent some earrings. I think they're earrings or some pins uh, from Tokyo, the Disney Resort. So we got some little pins, a Donald's and a, and a Daisy and a bracelet. Where's the bracelet? So she sent her a little bracelet. I'm so thankful. Um, I can't, I can't, I can't even say with words how appreciated I am of this. What is it? Donald. It's Donald. What else? Mimi, Donald and Daisy. Donald and Daisy. Say thank you. Thank you. Say thank you for sending it to us. I appreciate it. So I'm really thankful for this stuff. Um, I'm not saying that I'm asking for stuff like this, but when people take time out of their days, um, to send to, to do this for us it really does mean a lot to me um, I all this week I kind of been trying to figure out how to put this on film um, how to how to show it to you guys that I am really appreciated that somebody took the time um, to do this for us I'm not saying that this is what I want I want people to send me this um, this is far from beyond this is not why I'm doing it I'm not doing uh, this channel for you guys to send me stuff uh, but talking to Veronica over the last couple of weeks and for her to take time out of her day, it, it really does mean a lot to me. Um, and I am appreciative of that. So I don't know what to say, guys. So thank you, guys. Um, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for watching this channel. And thanks for supporting the channel in any way you, you can. So I really appreciate it, guys. So let's get back to the beta tank. Say thank you. Wow, well, you got a bracelet. Let's put it on. See your finger hand. Okay, guys, so here's the plan on moving the beta. I'm going to lower this tank about halfway and then add 50% of this water into this tank. That way, he kind of won't go into shock. Uh, it'll kind of just be like a water change for him. Then I'm going to lower this probably all the way to the bottom. Um, and I'm going to be moving some of the guppy fries from my other tank into this tank um, for the time being while I get the while I get some shrimp. So I'm going to lower this tank as much as possible, get some of the guppy fry water, and fill it up to about 50% or so, maybe even a little bit higher, and top off the rest with fresh water. So the guppies will kind of go on this tank. Now some of you guys are probably wondering if I'm going to cycle this tank. Uh, so let me show you guys what I plan to do uh, because technically I'm not going to be cycling this tank. So let me show you guys what I plan to do. I'm going to be stealing some of the biological media from this tank. It shouldn't be too much of a big deal because I have a sponge filter in here. And this is my AquaClear 50 that has a sponge filter intake. I don't know if you guys can see it. So basically there's really no debris coming in here. At this point this sponge has kind of become a biological breeding uh, area 
Plus, I got some uh, ceramic um, bricks in here. So I'm gonna be taking the bag of the biological media. No, mama, don't touch that. Hopefully I don't scoop up any guppy babies, but. Uh, so I'm just gonna kind of rinse it out. And it shouldn't be too bad, but there's so much good beneficial bacteria in this one that my tank is gonna be automatically cycled. So let's go to the other tank. So I know AquaClear makes an AquaClear 20. This is a media from an AquaClear 50. Um, if you were gonna do this from scratch, I would probably recommend you go buy an AquaClear uh, 20 media bag. Uh, because this one I think is going to be a little big, but we're going to try to cram it in there as, be as best as we can, so it should fit. Okay guys, so this tank is all done for right now. I moved uh, five baby guppies for the time being. I'm going to kind of grow them out. Also, I don't want the cycle to go away until I get the shrimp, so they're going to help in that. Over here, I got the beta. Um, the tanks already ready to go. I put 50% of this water into this one So he's basically just gonna think he's getting a, a Water change um, the temperature is just where I need it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and move them Kind of just grab them. I know he's not gonna be too happy moving tanks, but We're gonna move them into this tank So let me put the lid on And let me also put the light. And we're gonna go ahead and turn the light on and see how it looks. There it goes. So he's gonna have a lot less plants in here compared to this one, so. But I think it'll be okay. Um, I still don't know about the flow on the, on the tank. If I feel it's too much, I think I'm going to add this, this sponge that I bought uh, and I'm going to stick it in here. I believe this is from a Fluval Edge. Let me show you guys. Uh, Fluval Edge um, intake filter, I think, or I'm not sure. Uh, but this is what it is, just in case you're curious. Uh, so I cut it back a little bit. Um, so I'm going to stick it in there just in case it's too much flow for him. So I can see that he's already not too happy because he can see, he can basically see the other tank over there. So he's not too happy that he's over here. Uh, hopefully he doesn't stress out on me, but uh, this is going to be his new home for right now. Um, I see him looking over there, but this is going to be his tank. He's going to explore and hopefully it works out okay. So let me know what you guys think about this build, guys. All right, guys, so thanks for sticking all the way to the end. I can kind of already tell that this episode is going to run a little long. So if you stuck all the way to the end, thank you so much. Um, hope you guys like the new tank. If you guys have any questions or concerns that I might have overlooked, please let me know in the comments and I'll try to address them or try to fix them. Uh, but again, I'm, I'm still a little speechless of um, what happened today with the unboxing. So I want to thank every single one of you guys for, uh, for watching. Um, a lot of you guys have been here for a while and been watching my videos since since probably last year since I finally started putting some videos up there so for that I want to thank you guys hope you guys enjoyed this episode Let's say bye, bye. say thank you guys thank you, bye. see you guys next time have a great day guys bye.